Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Renchev and in this video I'm going to show you how you can utter Zen Blazor components to your Blazor WebAssembly application. So I have new Blazor WebAssembly application just created with the pages for fetch data, counter, uh, the survey prompt uh, custom component, etc. And I want to add a Zen button or any other Zen component to my application. The first need, uh, thing I need to do is to follow the instructions from our getting started in our demos. Let's read them. So, we need to add a Zen Blazor NuGet package to our app. We can do that from manage NuGet packages. Okay, let's search for Rodzen. And here is our famous Rodzen Blazor library with almost 4 million downloads already. Let's install. Okay, it's ready. And now we need to continue with our getting started instructions. So we need to add first two usings to our imports. This is the imports of the client application. Then Blazor. Let's now add the CSS for the components. This is the theme, and I'm going to use the material theme. You can do that in your index HTML file. For example, below the bootstrap styles. And now we need to add the JavaScript needed for the components. Again, we can copy the script from our getting started and add it below Blazor WebAssembly JavaScript. And let's now try to use a button. I will simply copy our example and I will paste it in our index page. Let's run now the application to check if the button works correctly. Okay, the application started. Now it's loading. Okay, done. And now when you press the button, the event handler is invoked and everything works correctly. Now, let's add some special components like the notification dialog context menu and the toolkit components. I will simply copy and paste them in our main layout. Okay. And I need to register the services of these components in our Blazor application, Program CS. We can do that here in the client application. And now we can inject, for example, the dialog service. and try to use it in our app. We can change the to a sync task and invoke the dialog service confirm method which will show the confirm dialog. Okay, let's try 
try to run the app to check the result the app is loading ok done and now when you press ok button of the confirm dialog the result will be true and if you press the cancel button of the confirm dialog the result will be false and everything works correctly to use the other services like the tooltip and notification and the context menu you can again inject them in your page and invoke desired method that's all for now thanks for watching